Smith. Well, thank you. On behalf of the Green Party of Canada, I would like to extend our deepest condolences. Our hearts go to each and every Nova Scotian and Nova Scotian and to all those across Canada affected by this horrific tragedy. Premier Stephen McNeil has said, we will not be defined by this tragedy. We will be defined by how we deal with it. As Nova Scotians, as Canadians, we will reach out to each other. We will support the families of those who died. We will make muffins and say prayers. We will provide counselling. We will love and we will remember. Nova Scotia is a province where there are close connections. Everyone will be affected. I know my colleague from Saanich Gulf Islands, a former Nova Scotian resident and proud Cape Bretoner, knows a family member of one of the victims. Nova Scotians have had their sense of security and safety shattered, but they are strong and resilient and will support each other through this. In our morning, we are united. Our hope for a brighter tomorrow is rooted in knowing that we are greater than this tragedy. tragedy. Our love and prayers go to the loved ones of the 18 Nova Scotians who have died. I'm impressed with the way Nova Scotians are responding to this tragedy, to show love and support even in this time of COVID-19 physical distancing. As a musician myself, I am feeling the comfort from shared music on the virtual Nova Scotia kitchen party. Citizens are lining the highway over two metres apart, leading to the local RCMP station. A virtual vigil is being planned for Friday. Art is being shared, and friends and loved ones are calling each other and supporting each other in so many ways. The names of the deceased so far, Lisa McCauley, a teacher, Heather O'Brien, a care aide, Kristen Beaton, a care aide, Sean McLeod and Ellen Jenkins, both corrections officers, Tom Bagley, a volunteer firefighter, Constable Heidi Stevenson of the RCMP, Emily Tuck and her parents, Jolene Oliver and Aaron Tuck, Greg and Jamie Blair. This is a poem that was written by Cherie Fitch, who lives in the area of the tragedy. Because we love, we cry. Sometimes there is no sense to things, my child. Sometimes there is no answer to the questions why. Sometimes things beyond all understanding. Sometimes people die. When it hurts like this, my child, when you are scared, suffering, confused, even if you are not together, together let us cry. Remember there is so much love because we love and cry. Sometimes the sadness takes away your breath. Sometimes the pain seems endless, deep. Sometimes you cannot find the sun. Sometimes you wish you were asleep. When it hurts like this, my child, when you are scared, suffering, confused, even if we are not together, Together, let us cry. Remember, there is still so much love. Because we love, we cry. Pray that I had answers, child. Pray this wasn't so. There are impossible things, child, I cannot bear for you to know. When it hurts like this, my child, when you are scared, suffering, confused, even if we are not together, together let us cry. Yes there, yes, there is still so, so much love. Because we love, we cry. This will be one of the hardest days for so many. I think of the children, but we are all children. I think of how all of us are traumatized in shock. I think of Westray, Fredericton. Let us go gentle into this day as we learn more and learn more names of loved ones and realize who we know but we are each other. Thank you.